Sup y'all, bring you guys another video. Let's bring you guys my post fight thoughts of the fight between Amanda Serrano and Yamalet Mercado fight literally just ended minutes ago. Just finished watching the post fight interview. Oh my goodness, man. Amanda Serrano's brother in law, his trainer. Dude, be quiet. <laughs> quiet down, man, dude. Oh, what he said in the end, talking about Mexican warriors, Mexican this, and that. I'm like, bruh. Stop it. Stop it. Stop. It should have been stayed quiet, man. It should have stayed quiet. Stop taking the spotlight away from Amanda Serrano. She did a spectacular job, in my opinion. Yes, she didn't get the knockout, but she really wanted to do it. And you can tell that she really was trying to go for the knockout. But, for, you know, it didn't happen. Fight ended up going the distance. It went the whole 10 rounds, and Serrano won the fight by unanimous decision. All three judges had it in her favor, and rightfully so. Three, three judges had it 97, 93, 98, 92, 99, 91. I thought she basically won every single round, to be honest. But with that being said, big props to Yemelet Mercado, who showed a lot of heart and determination, man. A lot of heart and determination. She, I'm sure she did Mexico very proud. Yes, she lost this fight, but she went out there and gave it her all, took some big shots, showed a lot of heart. Gotta give her a lot of props. So big props to Mercado for going out there and, you know, moving up in weight as well to challenge the champion Serrano. And she's still a champion, by the way, if you guys don't know, Mercado is still a champion. So, um, so yeah, it, I don't know, man, that, that whatever Serrano's corner said, Jesus, dude, jeez. Um, yeah, don't listen to what he said, Mercado. Um, you know, you, you, I'm sure... A lot of our Mexican fight fans are proud of Mercado. As for Amanda Serrano, like I said earlier, she was trying to go for the knockout. She did a very good job going downstairs and upstairs, mixing it up, especially downstairs. You can tell that she really was trying to get a knockout, like I said earlier. But um, Mercado was just too tough. Mercado was too tough. Amanda, I'm sure she gained fans from this fight. With this win, she improves to 41-1. and one, one draw, 30 wins coming by way of knockout TKO. Did not get that knockout victory, but still with that being said, um, a win is a win. And I'm sure a lot of people would much rather win than get... You know, in the end of the day, I think a win is, uh, uh, is what you want, right? So a win is the goal. And Serrano was able to get it. Um, and... You know, she did, she did great. She It was a pretty good fight. I know there was some stuff going on behind the scenes, judging from the reaction of the crowd looking elsewhere. But in the end, it was such a good fight. It was a very one-sided fight. Um, and hopefully people uh, you know, will start paying more attention to female boxing after this fight. And, uh, and yeah, um, uh, not, not nothing much to add other than looking forward to seeing what's next. Yamilet Mercado should move back down in weight and compete at her weight class at 122 pounds. Um, as for uh, Amanda Serrano, uh, it looks like her goal is to be undisputed at featherweight. Um, honestly, I don't know who the other champions are. I hope she gets those fights so that she can finally be undisputed. And uh, hopefully we could see, we will see the uh, Katie Taylor fight in the future. Because it looks like she's not interested in Katie Taylor at the moment. She's more interested in being undisputed at 126 first. So we'll see what will happen in the future. Anyway, if you saw the fight, let me know what did you think about it in the comments. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And like always, have a great day. Alright, thanks.